Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. Next match, Cross Balanced Cup. So let's take a look, let's zoom in. We have our second match here in Group G. Um, last time we saw that Spellbooks lost against True King Dinosaur Yang Zing. But, um, you know, it's certainly still in the tournament, right? Uh, as one of the older deck lists here in, um, you know, the bottom part. Being the more quote-unquote broken part. So the second uh, match here in this particular group, you saw we have two big titans. Um, what can I say? Sky Strikers versus Sword Soul. Um, the Sky Striker deck list uh, it was not updated as in Sky Strikers pretty much at full power. Mm, mm, ah, no, the what should we call it? The token generator is at one, or was it used at one with triple engage? I'm not sure. Can't remember. But the second deck list was updated, and um, uh, as, as multiple people asked in uh, the video back then, I switched up the deck list uh, instead of pure Sword Soul to um, a Sword Soul featuring Tenny. And um, I'm honest, it was a, quite, at least, it took me quite, um, because I was piloting the deck, it took me quite a while of uh, actually picking uh, a list, a good list I felt comfortable with. But uh, I eventually went with Simon He's uh, list from a couple of months ago, the first place deck list of the Remote Tool ICS. Um, but again, I mean, I've watched a couple of OCG lists as well from back in 2021. Very similar, uh, other than, you know, Maxi in the main deck. So, Sword Soul going first, Sword Soul Tenny, and uh, I kind of underestimated the deck, as um, it's not that easy to play. You have so many decision trees, you have to make so many choices, so many combos you can do with the deck. It's not that easy, I feel. Um, so, this first turn is, is, is the nuts, I'm honest, this is like completely the nuts. Have a monster negation, have the, the, the what should we call it, the Tenny one that banishes a monster, right? When as soon as it's activating its effect, and then I believe one of the MVPs I felt beforehand, and that's the the level 10 uh, Sword Soul monster that banishes one from your opponent's field and graveyard, right? So banishing like field spell plus uh, plus ray, I feel is like superb. But it gets negated by Widow Anchor again, something we can definitely expect. So it's going well back and forth here. Um, you know, multiple negations, multiple interruptions. Uh, Sky Strikers is able to play uh, through all of that. But still, I have a couple of follow-up plays ready. So you know, I am testing the waters here of my opponent to see if my opponent has any interruption. The Widow Anchor again activated on the you know the level 10 Sword Soul. Again, I'm, I'm not too familiar with the names. So eventually get Athara on the field. Uh, get it back in the graveyard because I want to have... Oh, it doesn't really matter too much. Ah, okay. I don't have a you know monk on my side of the field or like a Sword Soul token. But this should be game because the 10 e level 8 Synchro can attack twice on monsters, that is. Uh, plus, you know, it will gain an attack boost. So, yep, this was more than enough to attack for a game. So second tool, and uh, ah, that's why Drone and Lockbird is there. So opening with Droll is always nice. So I, I mean, if you saw Sky Strikers kind of open the nuts as well. Was it with double engage? I think so. Um, anyway, uh, it's fine though. So I think I have to go all all in again, as in, uh, you know, go for, uh, what should I call it, Fishuda to bounce back one of the back rows. And now we see it's, uh, is it summon limit? I think so. The side deck summon limits, yeah, those are in the side deck if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and miss Widow Anger, I think. But again, it's forced out and this kind of helps out. So I think I still have my normal summon so I can, you know, start establishing my board. That's where, you know, the, um, the Tenny package comes into play. You can force your opponent's disruption cards. Uh, go for a synchro place with something like Baksha. Again, force out their back rows and then, you know, then your Sword Soul engine starts uh, coming into play. So get the draw. Draw desires, that's nice, that's perfect. Uh, still can get the search, and I still have my normal summon. I think Protos was another option here. It doesn't really matter too much, because again, the Tenyi uh, monster can attack twice, also getting the attack boost, and that's my own Baroness, by the way. Ah, <laughs> oh, this deck is so crazy. Ah, oh, it's, it's, again, I haven't played um, Sword Soul Tenyi in the past, um, so it, it, it definitely feels mind-blowingly strong. So again, going second, and uh, Sky Strikers opens okay. They have the what should I call it, multi roll again, getting back some stuff engaged. So I guess yeah, we definitely could. I mean, you're always going to edge blossom the 
Shizuku, so we definitely could have, you know, uh, expected. Is it Eagle Booster? I think so. So I have to snipe one of the two sets. The, one of the two sets we don't know. Again, we can expect Widow Anchor because it was searched, I think. Um, and any other form of negation. So I can't risk that set uh, being something like Summon Limit or whatever. So Fishuda bouncing it back or Imperm here in this case. And uh, now we know all the cards, right? Engage was searched. The set being another engage, and then one unknown card being one of the back rows. So that could be Imperm. So again, uh, Yazi, you know, popping one of the back rows. I believe it was popping Multi-Roll and then Baksha, Baksha. So ridiculous. Bouncing back up to two cards, and then, you know, it can still move. Uh, at least continue your combos, right? This is all fine. And Kagari triggering, getting back Channing Wave, I believe the name is. Yeah, I think so. Uh, but again, I still have my sword, sword Soul package into play and I'm honest, the Ecclesia was a ridiculous top deck. Again, I'm locked into Worms, so I can't go for Baroness, but again, I can feel I can go for my MVP being the level 10 Sword Soul uh, Synchro. So, okay, Impermanence, it, has, it was Imperm, right, has been activated. My uh, Shisha, I believe the name is, is destroyed. Um, but Ash Blossom saves the day, so Ash Blossom preventing Engage from going through prevents the extra draw because I think there are uh, were enough spells in the graveyard, right? If I'm not mistaken, I think so. Uh, so double token, and you know this is again Child's Play bounce back or send Fishuda back to the graveyard. I still have the higher level uh, Sword Soul, uh, what is it called, Langyuan? Yeah, again, not too familiar with the names, but we know the effects, right? And this indeed should be more than enough to attack for games. So this is kind of like a big blowout for uh, Sword Soul, um, you know, versus uh, Sky Strikers. This is something I definitely did not expect it. Um, but again, I mean, because I haven't played or didn't play Sword Soul Tenyi in the past, but you know, play like looking up some combos and seeing how the deck plays. It's um, it's a mind-boggling deck. It's really a mind-boggling deck, and uh, it's it explains why it won the YCS a couple of months ago. So anyway, uh, next matchup, the last two duels here in Group D, and then you know Group H, and then back to the beginning. The next matchup we have Chaos versus Rav uh, Ravine Dragon Rulers, right? Okay. Uh, feel free to leave your predictions. Thanks, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment or like if you enjoyed the video. Be your signing out. Peace.